Yes. Oh no! no! Ah, dream, get it, get it, get it! Ah! <laughs> dream! <laughs> no! Ow! <laughs> dream! Have you ever thought to yourself, let's make Minecraft the scariest game ever? No? Okay, well then you're probably not a sadist. We're definitely not either, but we've done it that way you never have to. <laughs> Please. I think it's, wait, this way? Yeah. Okay, we came from across here. <laughs> ah! Ah! Dream! Go! Go! And trust me, you never want to. Now, we've actually been planning for this for months when we bought the parts back in November, but we ran into a lot of trouble actually trying to get it done. So here we are in January. And then yesterday, somebody posted on Reddit exactly what we've been trying to do, saying they had done it. We were actually really pissed off because we had been working on it for a long time and we, we wished that we had done it earlier. But the person was exposed for not having actually done what they said. The whole thing was fake. Someone lied on the internet. What a shocker. But that, to me, is unacceptable. So here is how you actually make it so that Minecraft will shock you anytime you take damage. Okay, so the first thing that we need to get this to work is, of course, a shock collar. So this is just some random shock collar that we found off Amazon. But the key thing that we need about it is that it's actually wirelessly activated by a remote. So the shock collar has three different modes that you can use. It has beeping, vibration, more vibration. And the last one is just shocking. So uh, it doesn't actually make any noise. You can't see anything happening, but the shock collar actually comes with this. It's a little light bulb with um, two wires right there. And what you do to test it to see if it's actually working is you connect the two wires like this. And then to test it, when you press the button on the remote, the button lights up. That definitely looks like a light bulb and not a button. So the question is, how do we make this remote automatically trigger the electrocution when we get damaged in Minecraft. To answer that, we're gonna have to open up the remote and see what's inside. Okay, so when we pop the back off carefully, it doesn't sound careful, okay. Looks all right. So this is what the inside of the remote looks like. We have the, uh, the antenna up here. This is the battery and just some other stuff all over that I don't really know what it does. So we're gonna move on. <laughs> now, obviously the stuff that we wanna access, the buttons is actually on the front. So we're gonna have to take this off. So here's what the front of the remote looks like. We've got the screen at the top and these are all the buttons. Now the button that we want to actually control is this middle one here. So the idea is to connect two wires, one to each side and power them somehow so that it completes the circuit and is acting as if we press the button. So these are the wires that we're gonna use. So once we connect them to the button, all we have to do is somehow send electricity through it when we need it to. This is where the Arduino comes in. This is an Arduino. You might have heard of it. It's basically what's called a microcontroller. That's about all I know about it as well. Essentially, we're gonna plug the wires into these little holes and then we can use code on the computer to tell it to turn on those holes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and that's basically it. So you plug a wire in here. It's that simple. And we need to just connect this wire to the button somehow. Now, ideally, you'd actually do this with solder, um, but I'm just gonna use tape, so. But before we actually move on to that stage, we actually need to look at the code. So this is what it looks like. So this first line just connects to the Arduino. This line obviously starts the device. I mean, it's just called device.start. Now, just for testing, I've made a, a loop that goes five times and it just turns it on and off. And these two methods here are for actually turning on and off the device. So I'm using pins seven and 13. So all we do to turn it on is we set pin seven to be an output pin and set its value to something like 350. So to connect the Arduino to the computer, it comes with this nice little USB cable. Of course, with things like this, things can go wrong. They've actually built in something where you cannot hold it for longer than seven seconds. So the worst that could happen to me is that I get shocked for seven seconds straight, which is bad. So the dog shock collar actually has nine different levels of intensity, I suppose, for the electricity. And we thought it's for dogs. It can't be that bad. But level one, I tried it, is bad. So we will not be going any more than level one. I'm serious, level one is bad. All right, so now to do this, we're gonna get our cables and plug them in. All right, so my code's actually running. So if we take the two wires and touch them to either side of the button, hopefully, 
you get a beeping. All right, so to actually secure this, you can either solder these two things to the button, or you can just use tape, which is what I'm gonna do because I'm lazy. All right, so after like a long time of messing with this stupid tape, basically I finally got it to work. So, so here it is, it looks kind of uh, messy, but if I run my code, it's gonna start beeping really loudly until it actually connects, and then on off, like this. And you can see it actually working. The little light is flashing in the top corner, and it's pretty cool. So the next question is, how do we actually sync this up to work with Minecraft? So here's the code for the Minecraft plugin. I'm not gonna bother explaining it too much because it's kind of complicated, but basically this method here runs when the server starts, and we have to register the events which basically allow us to listen for when a player takes damage. So right here it's listening for when I take damage <laughs> and when I take damage it just runs the shock method. It turns on the device, we wait for 100 milliseconds and we turn it off. Now just one more thing to mention about this, basically the, oh, I can't pick up the remote, it's all wired up, but the, the remote basically if you haven't touched any of the buttons for 31 seconds is what I timed it. I don't know why it would be 31. After 31 seconds, the remote actually turns off until you press a button again. So I had to add some code that basically every 30 seconds, if the button hasn't been pressed within the past 30 seconds, press it again. So we didn't think about the fact that if he pressed the button himself, the next time the program tries to run and it presses the button to turn it on, it would just shock him. So this inevitably happened. Yeah, so, so far yeah. so good. I've survived apart from my own Ah! Wait, what, what the what? hell? Wait, what? It just shocked me! What? What? Oh, I know why. I know why. I need to turn it why? off. I need to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Like, the thing actually turned off. So I turned it on, and then it was out of sync. So, like, when it when it turned it on, it was already on. All right, so finally, this is actually it working in games. I'm just going to have it on the beep sound. So if I actually get damaged, let's see what happens. So as you can see, when we start getting damaged, it starts beeping. Uh, I'm trying to show this all at the same time. I'm about to die though. Uh, they're, they're missing for some reason. What, why are they missing? You get the point. They shoot you. This thing tells this thing to turn on, which then tells this thing to turn on. Very epic, very cool, I like it. So then we hooked it up and we joined the server and everything worked absolutely perfectly. All right, is it on vibrate? Yep. Uh, hit can me. I punch you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it vibrated. Yeah, hang on. Do it again. <laughs> Let's see if they can hear it. Do it again. But... <laughs> yeah, just keep hitting, it. keep hitting me. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Oh, I can put it on. The... Wait, don't hit me. Do not hit me. I'm serious. I'm actually serious. Don't hit me. Okay. okay I won't. Because I need to switch it to the beep mode, which cycles past the sap mode. <laughs> All right. Do it again. <laughs> Okay, just keep hitting me, just in case they couldn't hear the other one. All right, there <laughs> so you it's go. working. Uh, <laughs> okay, I have to turn it on to the the zap mode. The longer you wait, the sun is going up, and we'll get to nighttime quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. Uh, oh my god, I really don't want to press it. Come on, press it. Hurry, George. The sun is going up. We're gonna. I'm just gonna reset the daylight. sun. I'm gonna reset the sun. <laughs> no, this is no, so horrible. It actually is. Allowed. Let's go. Just go. Just okay. go. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Okay, so maybe not everything worked perfectly, but luckily this was the only time it misfired, other than the other time it misfired that I showed you earlier. Th those are the only two times that it, I, I promise it worked. It, it definitely worked. Ah! Oh my god! Wait, what, what happened? <laughs> you hit me! Or did I take full damage? I... Don't hit me, don't, actually don't. <laughs> I, oh my god! I didn't hit you. I like slammed my knee into the desk. Can I take full damage? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what just happened? I didn't hit you. Something happened. Okay, I, pr I promise you I didn't hit did you. Did I take full damage? You must Were have. we up here? Were we up I think, here? I don't know. I think we were. <laughs> There's no, did I just run off the edge and... <laughs> oh my... I'm wearing rubber gloves in case I like... Oh my god. ...can kill my computer. <laughs> and that is what happens when you make it so that every time you take damage in Minecraft, it shocks you. That was definitely a lot of Minecraft for this channel. This isn't a Minecraft channel. So if you wanna see a full gameplay of us playing with the shocker on, there's actually gonna be two. There's gonna be one video on Dream's channel and one video on George's channel. So stay tuned for those videos to see much more pain. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more stuff like this. This is George and I's new channel. Click it, subscribe, click the button. Come on, click it.